I bet that's very popular <laughs> this week with the hotter weather that is on the way. The fountains out there, 83 degrees. That temperature down to peak. The dew point is only 50. So that's very low humidity. It's very comfortable if you have any outdoor plant, outdoor chores to get done. This is a great time to do it. As a matter of fact, uh, the next few days will just continue to get hotter and hotter, and everything in the eight-day forecast after tomorrow will be at least in the 90s for several days in a row, and the heat index even worse. So if you have outdoor plant <laughs> chores to get done, uh, this is a great time to do it. And sunset's getting close to 9 p.m. as we are approaching the, uh, the beginning of summer, of course. 80, uh, 81 in Marysville now, 84 in Concordia. Abilene has 82. This is a beautiful day. Winds are fairly light. The highest gust is 18 miles per hour in Concordia. Most of us, the winds are gusting uh, less than five miles per hour. There's the Radar Capital Federal Live Storm Tracker. We're calm in northeast Kansas. There have been some severe storms to our north and parts of the Dakotas, Wyoming, and uh, Colorado. None of that's heading our way anytime in the next few days. It looks like it's moving. Our, it is moving our direction. It just won't make it here. Uh, the hot weather will. Uh, make it here and stay with us for several days. Tonight's mostly clear light winds, southeast winds about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow, close to 90. Southeast winds 10 to 20. The humidity is a bit higher. Temperature is significantly warmer. You'll notice the difference tomorrow as it feels more like summer tomorrow with these temperatures close to 90 in the heat index, uh, maybe 92, 93. Not an extreme heat index tomorrow, but certainly warmer. Wednesday, we're in the mid 90s in most spots. Concordia going for about 97 degrees on Wednesday afternoon. Then Thursday is the hottest day that we will have uh, with 97 in Topeka, about 100 Manhattan, Clay Center, Concordia, all at 100 degrees. And the heat index on Thursday, about 105 to 110, should be common. Now Thursday evening after 5 p.m., we'll have a, a weak cold front coming through. And with all the heat and the instability in place, any cold front, any wind shift, will set off a chance of storms, and there will be so much instability here that some of these storms along this cold front will likely become severe. There will likely be a tornado risk on Thursday evening, uh, so we're all going to deal with the heat <laughs> as an issue on Thursday, but just keep in mind we may have severe weather and even a tornado risk on Thursday evening. Friday, behind this weak cold front, not a big <coughs> cool down, but we won't see the uh, temperatures chasing 100 or the heat index 105 to 110, so it's better on Friday behind the cold front, but still in the 90s, so from 97 to 92, that's a June cold front. But we're not even to the <laughs> official start of summer yet. That's like a what, 10 days away or so. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's pretty no. typical for this time of year, though, right? Not unusual. It's a little above.